What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing Walking Wake on the rank ladder for Regulation F. Now, Walking Wake was actually released into this game a couple months back at just some random point. They released Walking Wake and Iron Leaves at the same time and kind of just threw them into the game. But the weird thing was these Pokemon were not allowed on the rank ladder until now, until Regulation F. So now we're going to be showcasing them on the rank ladder. And this Pokemon is actually super viable it's great with the sun so pair it up with a sun setter we got tornadoes today pop that sun you get protosynthesis boost and then plus you get some damage boost on moves like flamethrower and hydro steam this pokemon is a water and dragon type rocking the fire terror type and then a great item of the life form you got protect you got hydro steam you got flamethrower and draco meter for a heavy hitting move set super excited and cannot wait to use this pokemon the team also features a few other combos. You got Chiyu and Fluttermane. You guys seen that plenty of times. And then the new Regulation F combo in DD and Iron Crow. We showcased that on the rank ladder. So if you guys want to check out that combo more in depth, make sure you head down and link in the description below or just click on my channel and go find my Iron Crown video on rank. Our final Pokemon in today's video is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus is great for speed control, good for doing some damage with Bleak Storm. And on top of that, it's going to be very good for setting the sun because it has Prankster and Sunny Day. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's stop wasting time and hop into match number one. Let's keep killing it on the rank ladder. We're sitting 10 4. My rank actually dropped because, again, I only play this game in the morning when I'm recording. That's it. So when I'm offline, my rank just drops, 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 drops until I hop on the next time. So we're sitting at 2,711 and we are 10 and 4. Great record. Great record so far. But we're hopping up against a person who's 9,500. 9,500 with a, I didn't even know you can use all these Pokemon on the rank ladder. I didn't know you can use Reggie Gigas, but it's a full Reggie team. That is awesome. I'm in love. I'm in love. That is so cool. That is so sick. So they got Regilecki alongside with Reggie Draco. And then they got the all the other Reggies. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Gigas. Kind of scary, but I think Speed Control is going to be a big factor for us. So I am just going to go in with you and... And I'm also gonna go in with. Do I go in with Indeedy maybe turn one? Nah, 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 nah. We could go Fluttermane. Boost your energy and speed, hopefully. In speed. That's actually not bad. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna end up going into Fluttermane and Tornadus. I'm gonna bring Walking Wake and Chiyu as our back end Pokemon. That's gonna be our play. Reggie team. I was gonna say Reggie Steel team, but it's just a like Reggie team. All six Reggies. Super dope, but I'm super scared at the same time because I don't know why whenever I see like weird teams I always think they have like tricks up their sleeves and I'm gonna get absolutely pieced up on But this is so cool to be going up against in the rank ladder, especially in match number one of my video Especially match number one, but they're gonna end up leading the Reggie Ice and Reggie Draco and I have random music on and I'm pretty sure we got no music Oh, no, we did get some tunes. Cool. So the ice is out and about um They also have the Draco and do I just set up the Tailwind or do I just Icy Wind across the board? I could Bleak Wind Storm, which is not bad. I could tear it in the Ghost if I want to. I could set up a Sunny Day. I could set up a Sunny Day. But you know what? I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm. Or I'm going to set up Sunny Day for the rest of the squad. So all Sunny Day, I will end up Terrestrializing. And I'll just start ripping Dazzle and Gleams. Right? This is a big time Terra for us. I'm about it. So Terrestrialize the Flutter main. Let's get off as much damage as we can. I don't know why, I honestly feel like this Reggie Ice rocks Heavy Slam. And that's kind of looking a little scary, so we'll see. We'll see. So we pop this nice, lovely little Terror type, and they're going to Terrasize as well. Probably the Reggie Draco. Straight Steel type. You got a Steel type cooking here? You do got a Steel type. Now that's looking scary, because you could be rocking Terror Blast. No, please. No Terror Blast allowed. The Reggie Draco pops a nice, lovely Steel Terror type. And Sunny Day is going to pop. So we just want the sun out here. We just want to help out the squad. Especially late game squad. Guys and Gleam is going to fly. How much damage is this doing on these Pokemon? Because Reggie Ice is actually rather bulky. Oh my lord. Real bulky. Terra Blast flying here. And that's going to be the end of Fluttermane, right? That is just the end of Fluttermane. Actually, no. Fluttermane survives. Beautiful. And Flash Cannon is going to fire. Are you doubling down? Now that's the end of Fluttermane. Okay. So Fluttermane dropping out early here. Kind of sucks. We waste our tire, but now I can bring in my Walking Wake. Now, Walking Wake, I actually really like here. Get this Pokemon out of here, or I could just go into Chi Yu. Actually, we might as well go into Chi Yu and save Walking Wake. Heat Waves in the Sun? 
all day long. All day long. All day long we're heat waving in the sun. We got the beads of ruin. We're getting after it. I'm gonna set up a tailwind just just to make sure this thing takes speed control, and then I'll pop a heat wave. Heat waves all day. All day here. So I kind of wasted my terror early on here. I probably should have thought it out a little bit better and just be like, hey, this thing most likely is gonna thrasalize into steel. You might want to just like swap you out. And I probably should have done that and just swapped him into this Chi right here. Cause Chi would have been able to soak, then we would have had Sunny Day popping, and we really could have got thriving. But they end up withdrawing Reggie Draco. So Reggie Draco gets a swap, and they're gonna go into who? Reggie Rock? Yeah, Reggie Rock's gonna come out here. So the Rock Man comes out here. That's fine by me. Tailwind gets popping. Heat wave is gonna. Who's it missing? Who who dodged that? Of course Reggie Reggie Ice dodges that. We get a crit though, which is massive, and he's just gonna go for a focus blast. Okay, and we dodge it. Okay, so it it, it 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 evens out. It evens out here. It evens out. It evens out. And honestly, I think from here we just swap into Walking Wake, and we pop a heat wave, right? And hope that it connects on both and picks up the double kill. But that crit was big time. So we're going to swap into Walking Wake just so we get Walking Wake out there with a couple of turns in the sun and in Tailwind. And we're going to hope Heat Wave double connection just picks up the double KO. Come on, Chiyu. I need you here. I need you here. I got Pro Synthesis boost as well. Heat Wave comes out here. It double connects. Does not pick up the double KO. Which I'm a little upset about. And we'll go from here. Focus Blast. That's just going to take me out. That's brutal. You're not picking up the KO. Actually, it's not going to take us out. Wow, I'm super surprised I think it was able to outbulk like that. But to go back out into Regilecki. Now, Regilecki's here, and Regilecki's pretty fast. Now, what's your speed at, to you? I don't think you outspeed. Yeah, no, you outspeed. You outspeed in Tailwind? Yeah, you guys are both outspeeding in Tailwind. But how many turns left in Tailwind? Two. Okay, that's actually really nice. So from here, we're just going to go into a Hydro Steam into you and then just pop a Heat Wave across the board. Both of us are going to be able to outspeed this Regilecki. So I was going to say, as long as it doesn't protect, we should be fine. Hydro Steam's going to leave it down on the one. Heat Wave, can you double connect again? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Just land. Just land. That's all I need. No need for RNG to lose me this match. Love you, Chiyu. So there's a the double KO. We're thriving out here in match number one. So Walking Wake was a great swap for us. Getting it some turns, especially in the sun and in the tailwind. And we pick up the double KO with the Sea Wave. So now their final Pokemon is chilling here. It is going to be this Reggie Draco. And honestly, it could protect, but I feel as we should hard swap somebody. I think we should hard swap Chiyu into, into you just in case. Because if it protects, then it's... Might be able to outspeed me, so I'm just going to go into a flamethrower here. Maybe they cancel battle. I mean, no, they don't. That's fine. We still have sun and flamethrower. Should KO, especially with our special attack boost. We're swapping just in case they want to protect them. We set this last turn to Tailwind, right? No, they don't. Okay, they don't protect. So flamethrower flies through here, and it just picks up the KO, no problem. Walking Wake hit real hard, especially in the sun. It gets that Protosynthesis boost. And on top of that, we have Life Orb. That team that we just versed was so cool. I always love going up against cool off meta teams, especially on the rank ladder. But now we're sitting 11 and 4, record going crazy. We're hopping into our second match for today's video. We're going up against a person that's 4,500. 4,500 with a cool team. Actually, I seen this rental code. This is a real gimmicky team with Parasong, kind of put me to sleep kind of plays. They got Muck, they got Flamigo to kind of co star and copy the stats of Muck with like a base in this raise minimize all that good stuff or just like moody changes so flamigos really niche pokemon coming into the back end they also have Sumir gold they got gothic tail and scream tail very annoying pokemon but one thing i noticed about this team is speed is rather low right speed is definitely rather low i could go into maybe like indeedy and iron crown here which isn't bad especially with the twisted spoon we had some great moves with tachyon cutter all that good stuff to go after scream tail go after other pokemon like that um I kind of forget Muck's typing. And that's looking a little scary, right? Muck, what are you? Poison and something else. Mucky Muck. Muck Buck. Um, I could go with these two, Chiyu and Fluttermane, which I actually really like this as a lead. And in the back end, I could just go in DD and Iron Crown, right? Yeah, it's something I actually really like. I like this lead a lot. I do like this lead a lot. Do you have a ghost? 
Terror type, you do. That's perfect, especially if they're going to lead Smeargle, a fake out user. We can just fast slice into Ghost and just start attacking, right? And just start attacking. Now, Paris Song teams are always, always tough because they're very stallish. They have Shadow Tag, they got fake out users. They got a lot of different things to kind of go after. So I think this lead for us is actually really good. They do lead a fake out user. We could just stop it right away and just start attacking. And they are. They're going to lead Muck and... Muck and Smeargles. And Smear Smears. Smear Smears. I always love Alola Muck, dude. Alola Muck, like the colors when it just droops down and flows through it. Looks so sick. Looks so sick. So from here, I'm just going to Terrasalize. I might as well just pop a Heat Wave, right? Heat Wave and start Dazzy Gleaming. Yeah, let's just start attacking. Let's just start attacking. That's our play all day. We like I, Their plan right here is to fake out and to just attack or spore and just set up, right? They want to set up this minimize and then just co-start with the Flamigo. We don't want this. Spore is looking terrifying, though. But I'm hoping we just straight up outspeed and then we can just get rid of them. Yep, there's the fake out. Cool. The big time dodge for us to go into that Ghost Terror type. Dazzle Gleam going to cook. Get off some huge damage. And Heat Wave is going to double connect. Take out the Smear Girl and take out the Muck. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Wise words of LeBron James. Any of you guys are members, put that emote down in the uh, comment section down below. If you guys do want to become a member, make sure you go down, click the link in the description below, and join the Genius membership. Huge shout out to all my members. You guys are real ones. You guys are real ones. I also now have a donation link. Not ask you guys to, but just letting you guys know. It is down there alongside with the membership link. So, again, huge shout out to everybody who shows a little bit of extra support. But they end up going into Co-Star Flamigo alongside with Sinister. So Heat Wave just screaming, right? We're cho well, we're choice into it anyway. And then we could just Shadow Ball and double down at this. But I just think Dazzle and Gleam is also screaming. Because, like, if you Terrasalize one, the other one's getting dumped on. But if you Terrasalize the other one, then the other one's getting dumped on. Cool. Are they just going to cancel battle? Yeah. So one turn, that's all we needed. 2-0 oh for today's video. Back into the thousands, we're at 1700, keep it pushing, 12 and four. Absolutely lighten it up, but something I wanna do in this final battle is use Walking Wake a little bit more. We kinda just dominate it with Chiyu Fluttermane there. You guys seen that plenty of times in the past, but I'm ready to use Walking Wake a bit more. We use it in match number one, but they're gonna go into Iron Crown and DD team here, and that could potentially be their lead, right? That could definitely potentially be their lead. I could go into like Chiyu, it's dark type alongside with tornadas which i kind of like and then on top of that bring walking wake in the back end and that's something i actually really like right that's something i really like and if they go into like a trick room setter like porygon 2 at that point we're just going to set the sun and then just kind of rip after it so i like this we're not even going to be using iron crown or, or indeedy in today's video which is fine by me i have two videos up showcasing iron crown and i legit showcase that pokemon like a couple days ago so I just think this team is better off not going into Iron Crown and DD. It just kind of works out well for us. So I'm going to lock it in. We are locking it in. Come on, man. 2-0. I'd love to go 3-0 for you guys and just keep ripping on the rank ladder. On the rank ladder. But yeah, this team right here has two different options. They can really just go Trick Room with P2. Or they can really go in DD, right? Anything other than that, I feel like we can do some big time damage on too. They go into Earth if you turn one. I can just set the sun. That could be really good. I can just bleak when storming if I want to. I think we're sitting in a really good position. I like our lead here. I do like our lead. And then if I can set the sun, eventually one of our front end Pokemon are going to die. And then we should bring in a walking wake with high speed, photosynthesis, then boost. And this thing can do some big time massive damage. But I love walking wake. I think walking wake, like I said, in a team preview, very viable Pokemon. Especially now it's a, a loud rank. You can really get some work done, especially in the sun team. But they're going to end up leading Ogre Pond and Indeedee. Ogi Pond and Indeedee. Now, the real question is, do I just start attacking? Should I Tailwind? Should I Sunny Day? Should I do one of them? Should I do one of them? We're going to have Psychic Seeds pop, and I kind of just want to Bleak Wind Storm and go into a Heat Wave. But the problem here is, Chew Speed's not anything crazy. I don't focus that, so I could just set up Sunny Day, which I think might be my best bet. 167, you're actually really fast. Faster than I thought. I think we set up a Sunny Day and we just attack. Heat Wave. Heat Wave coming in hot here. Sunny Day. So I'm going to choice into that. You might Terrasalize the Ogre Pond. I kind of hope not, right? Kind of hoping you just swap it. 
And no, you go for follow me. You go for fo That's weird. That's odd. That's real odd. Sunny Day gets popping. And that's odd. That's real odd. That you go for follow me. Heat Wave's gonna come out here, and someone dodged it. Indeed, he dodged it. Bye, Ogre Pond. Now, indeed, he's popping Trick Room. Yes. So, indeed, he pops the Trick Room. And from here, um, I don't mind it. We didn't set up a Tailwind, which isn't too bad. Depends how slow your Pokemon are that you can bring in here. P2 is going to come out here. I don't mind P2 coming out here. Um, I think we just start wasting out these turns. I wish I could go for Snarl here, dude. Snarl would be nice. But P2's got some ice moves. He's got a lot of different stuff. So we just kind of want to slow things down here. And try to just do as much damage as I, th I think with these guys. A little Bleak Wind Storm. I'll go in with this. He's going to go Helping Hand. And P2, what are you doing? What are you doing? Helping Hand Terra Blast? That's... Mm, how much damage is it going to do? She did a nice chunk. A lot more than I thought it would. He was flying. We're just ripping. We're just ripping. Bleak Wind Storm's going to KO the Needy. Now I think just like Iron Crown comes out here. Iron Crown. So another Terra Blast will KO me, right? Actually, he might need Helping Hand. But now they go into a zoom round. Now this is where things get a little scary. Um, I can't protect. I do want to save my terror type for this guy right here because those dragon moves not looking good for me. So from here, I'm just gonna keep attacking, go heat wave, and just go bleak wind storm. And then kind of go from there, right? Yeah, ice cream's gonna fly here. I have sash. And that actually did a huge chunk of damage. A bit too much liquidation is going to finish me off. The Trick Room definitely helping him out here. Um, we could take out the P2 as long as we land it on, onto the P2. And let's see how this one plays. Bleak Wind Storm's missing somebody. Please hit the P2. My RNG's hurting today. It's hurting. So, from here, we're going straight into you, right? Um, I do have the Fire Terror, so I might have to target down somebody. We gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room. I might just protect Walking Wake here, to be honest, and then Terrasalize the next turn, just so we can waste out some turns. Correct? Would that be your best bet? Protect and Terrasalize it? Yeah. I'm gonna waste out these Trick Room turns all day. So I'm gonna protect. I'm just gonna attack with you. If you die, you die. It's no big deal. And then I'm gonna bring out Fluttermane. Fluttermane's gonna come out here and protect. Then we're gonna Terrasalize the Walking Wake, wasting out the last turn of Trick Room. And kinda going from there. But Walking Wake is massive. Look at this Pokemon. It's massive. Look at it compared to like P2 and Azumarill. It's massive. This thing is huge. I love it. I think it's designed sick. It's so sick. But we end up protecting the boy and oh, ho, 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 ho. P2 drops a nice little recover. It's a nice little lovely recover. Liquidation comes in hot here. And we should have one turn left in the sun, right? Actually, sun might end. Sun might end. Actually, hopefully we have one turn left in the sun. I like my protosynthesis. I like my protosynthesis. So from here, we bring out Flutter Flutter main. Protosynthesis popping. And from here, I'm just going to terrasalize you in the fire. And I'm dropping a Hydro Steam into this slot. So Hydro Steam coming out here. We're just going to protect my lovely little Flutter main. And we'll go from there. I doubt Liquidation is dropping into the Walking Away slot. I can see a fairy move more so than anything, or even an ice move. But we'll see. We'll see. Last turn in Trick Room, we wasted out pretty well here. <clears throat> and we got out our boy Walking Wake. So we have one turn left in Sun, too, which is really good for us. Um, I don't think they're going to protect P2. I'm going to really hope they don't. I doubt it. I doubt they protect on their last turn of Trick Room, right? But they're really thinking about what's going on here, what they should do. Really thinking about this. I swear, if you read a liquidation shot into my walking wake, that'd be impressive. But they're going to end up terrestrializing. They're putting the terror on, and it's going straight into P2. What typing you got? You got ghosts. Okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. And Hydra Steam should still be able to KO that P2. I know you're evil light. But this will be Stab, In the Sun, Protosynthesis Boost, Life Orb. We got all those boosts going on here. So I'm Terrasalizing in the fire. Just to dodge like a liquid or like a play rough coming at me. 
Zoom is gonna end up protect. We love that. We love that. And protect comes out for Flutterman. He's gonna end up going for a Ghost Terror Blast. We protect it. That's huge. That's huge. That is huge. And Hydra Seam's gonna fly across here. The big time block. We do not finish him off. But Trick Room is now done. So now my Pokemon just straight up out speed. I can now go for a. What do we go for here? Liquidation's looking scary. I still get my speed boost. But now we just go for a Dazzling Gleam. Take out the P2. And Walking Wake just attacks Zumro. It's not going to do anything crazy to Zumro, but it actually might be able to do enough damage to KO it. But what's going to do more damage? You or you? You actually do more damage here. Drake and Meteor can't hit you. You actually do more damage here. Because both these are going to be not very effective, but this one is a little bit higher base power. So from here, we're going to go Dazzling Gleam. We're going to rip with a Flamethrower, and both of those should be enough to grab ourselves that 3-0 perfect record. I know you have Aqua Jet, but we should be able to soak Aqua Jet. Yeah, we soak Aqua Jet. We soak Aqua Jet all day long. So Dazzling Gleam comes across, double kill. No, leads you on 1 HP. A 1 HP Bandit. Lucky I got Walking Wake. I would have been so upset if Walking Wake wasn't on the field and you lived on that and then was able to Aqua Jet me and finish me off again. That would have been real upsetting. But Walking Wake finishing off today's video. 3 0 perfect record. Again, lighting it up on the rank ladder. So, guys, we're getting back up there 13 and 4 and only sitting at 1337. Like I said, we don't play this game at all, or I don't play this game at all, unless I'm recording. I just like to record it for you guys. I love this game in general, but I don't play it off screen. Maybe I should grind a little bit, get my rank up higher, but I love just recording for you guys and having my record stay the same as I'm recording. It's a lot of fun. It definitely is a lot of fun. But here's one last look at this walking weight team. Absolutely amazing. We did not get the showcase in DD or Iron Crown today. It's totally fine. Like I said, I have two videos already up on the channel showcasing it in rank and on the casual ladder with two separate teams. You had Chiyu and Fluttermane, who is still a top tier combo, and Tornadus, top tier support, helping out all Pokemons on every team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.